Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Go Podcast's playthrough of Pokemon Scarlet. Um, if I remember correctly, we just have one more um, base to take down right down here. So let's get this underway. Um, do we already, I feel like we already fought the guy at the front. It's been a couple weeks. I think we fought the guy at the front already, though. Uh, this is the fairy base, so do I have the lineup I want? That's the real question. Uh, probably not Frankie up first. Uh, let's see. Who do we want? Let's go with Lucario, I guess. And we'll do that. We'll do this lineup. Lucario, Lycanroc, and Nihilate, I think. Maybe. Eh, we'll just go for it. Let's do this. All right, let's play. This should be a lot of fun. Clive. Beep. Even the smallest stars can light up the sky when they shine together as constellations. With the last bastion of Team Star, losing isn't an option. Hey kid, you listening? If you beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, we'll call the boss out to deal with you. How's that for hospitality? Oh, man, my kids have been messing with my controller. <laughs> it's all sticky. Gross. Uh, defeat 30 of Team Star's Pokemon. All right. Let's try to All right. There's an Azura. Oh, new Q. What do we got? There's an Isle. Let's see. Is that more Pokemon I'm about? out over here. I think we're probably taking too much damage from these guys, so that's good. I mean, it heals me up after we're done. Um, oh, I see some over here. Uh, oh, and I'm guessing I can find some more over here. And this'll do it. That's a street. Defeated. I should be good to go. Bam, bam, bam. Like Lycanroc took a little bit of damage, but it looks like everyone else was all right. All right. Our defenses are breached. It's all up to you, boss. It's all up to the boss now. We've got my controller all wiped down the Clorox way. It's probably the three-year-old junk all over. Oh yeah, it's the little kid, Ortega. Huh, secure Merrick. Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up. Well, whatever. I don't care who you are. Not like I'm going to lose to you anyway. If you think fairy types are all about cuteness, you're in for a nasty surprise. Eh. Cuteness, whatever. You're going down, Ortega. He looks like a ma magician, kind of. Okay. Azura. Uh, or, is that Azura? Azura's the baby, isn't it? Anyway, I prime this. I'll play nice, so don't blame me when this battle sends you blubbering back home. Alright. Oh, have I not fought one before? Uh, I don't remember... Let's go this fairy. I always forget. Char. Oh, so Steel did fine. Alright. Play rough. Ow. Oopsie. Did you just realize how outmatched you are? 
If you want to give up now, or if you want to give up, now's the time. Uh, no thanks. How about I just... Bam. I guess I could have terrestrialized Lucario. I could do a little more damage. Wiggly tough. Heal pulse doesn't help me. Just me Ooh. Oh, so steel is super effective. It's just steel isn't super effective against water. Got it. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay, so charm. Which charm do? We got attack harshly fell. Okay, well. My attack may have partially fell, but I still have enough damage to take it. We don't need to have faint you. It's that dash button. Dash button. Uh, we'll keep it now. He's kind of cute. Alright. So we've got him, and then we've got the car. Have a taste of this slick move. Bet you can't handle my Pokemon's adorable strength. Okay. Oh, he's pretty fast. Okay. Uh, let's send out Scizor next. Yeah, swap him in. Let's see how that goes. Attack fell. Okay. Punchy punchy! Mm, he didn't do as much damage as I was hoping. And then again, he's making my attack fall. Punchy punchy punchy! Ooh, there we go. Super effective. Critical hit. That's right. Alright, time to fight the car. Reverum. What the heck? Why is my team on the ropes? That's totally not fair. Alright, Reverend. Misty Surge. Okay, what is Misty Surge? I don't know. Punch, punch, punch. Ooh, that did really much damage, I was hoping. He is level 50, I guess. Steel Roller. Okay. That was a crit. Mist disappeared from the battlefield. I wonder what the mist even did. Super effective. Come on, scissor. You can do it. Come on, fight it. Ah, dang it. Hurt myself. Ouch! I hurt myself! Is that the one that raises... Oh, no. For a second I thought that was the one that raises his uh, speed. Magic Torque. Shoot dang, that one confuses me too. So he's got Magical Torque to confuse me, and then he's got Confuse Ray too. Come on, shoot dang. Okay. Magical tour. Well, yeah, scissors about to not to go kaput. Boom. That's okay. Still got three more folks. Yeah, yeah. Take a nap, scissor. It's time. Ahead and send out Lycan Rock. Sure. We'll terrestrialize Lycan Rock, I think. Because it's checking the moon. Is that headbutt's in so much time? So that'll turn him psychic. Tight, and then he'll have stab. It's not super effective, but it still should be pretty good. 
We all see. I do wonder if we'll ever have terrestrialization in If we do, it'll be a long ways off, I think. Yes, Lycanroc is confused. Come on, Lycanroc, you can do it. Hit him, hit him. Yes! Alright, how much damage are you gonna do? Ooh, that was pretty good. That was even better than Sizzle. Still confused. Come on, come on, come on! Shoot! Okay, Lycan Rock's not gonna make it that far into this battle. Well, at least he's got leftovers, right? Magic Torque! Ow! Don't kill yourself, please. Don't do it! Yeah, good. Heal up just a tiny bit, not that it'll matter because he's gonna beat me in with one more hit. Alright, so uh, what do we got? Two more Pokemon left? I think we're in good shape here. Let's go ahead. Oh, we've got three Pokemon left. We're, we're funny fine. Uh, let's go ahead and send out Floppy. Let's give him a try. Come on, Floppy! Rock bomb. Star bomb. Alright. So, Hurricane is 110, and so is Hydro Pump. The Hydro Pump will have Stab and is slightly more accurate. So, we're gonna give this a try. Oh, come on, Floppy. Don't be. Don't hit yourself in confusion, please. Yes! There we go. Alright. One more uh, Hydro Pump should should finish him off. Assuming uh, I don't hit myself in confusion and Hydro Pump lands. Come on! Yeah, Floppy! Nice! There we go. Finished him off. Now it's flashback time. Is he the one that made their costumes? I can't remember. I think he was. When they had when I saw the last flashback. Uh, how could I lose? What the heck? Flashback time. About two years ago. Oh, a year and a half ago. About a year and a half ago. Uh, what the heck? <laughs> Your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you it's not a toy. It's called the Starmobile. I was up all night building it. The problem is clearly that we're not giving it enough juice. You designed this thing to be powered by two uh, Charcadet, but it's just too heavy. That's such a shame. I wanted to see the looks on our bullies' faces once we got it moving. I'm sorry. I really thought it would work. Come, good fellow. Tis no occasion for melancholy. Why, to make such a remarkable contraption by thine own hand, genius thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well, there's no point if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew all that effort would have zero payout, I'd have just asked Mother to buy a car for us. See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You say some stupid things, you know that? What? Mella, cool it, would you? Yeah, how about no? I mean, we even put this in the code for crying out loud. When we started Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parents or bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Or did you forget? If that hunk of junk doesn't move, get it moving. If we're short on juice, just crank up the power somehow. Doesn't take a genius, man. That's easy enough to say, Melly. Do you have an actual plan? Yep, I'm going to train up my Char Cadet and have them evolve. Their boosted firepower power will get the Starmobile moving, no sweat. But the hour of Operation Star is nigh at hand. Will you succeed in time? Oh, I'll get it done. Melly, wait! You know, 
Bella shoots her mouth off an awful lot, but she means well. I know. Ugh, this sucks. This sucks. I hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome you were in that battle. If any of us squad bosses are, are defeated, that means we have to step down. And going against our code would make me a traitor to the team. Ugh, fine. Not like I have a choice anyway, so take the badge already. You better treat it with respect. It with the respect it deserves. Bam! Beat the Starfall crew. I'm not done yet. Here's my favorite TM too. Feel free to marvel at how awesome it is. Dazzling Gleam. That's a pretty good move. Uh, the user damages opposing opponent by emitting a powerful flash. And just so you know, you are the worst. Like, the most annoying person ever. But I get it. You're super strong. I'll admit that much. You even busted up my Starmobile. Young Master Ortega. Mr. Harrington. I guess it's time for my piano lesson, right? As it happens, I just lost my... Bo my boss title, so I'm all good to head, ho head on home. Uh, actually, a different matter brought me. There's somebody I would like you to meet. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. The name's Clive. Okay, what's your business here? I want to tell you something. You're the son of a wealthy family and heir to a major apparel company. So why join a group like Team Star? What a question to ask someone you've just met. Well, my answer is the same as everyone else in the team. It's because I was being bullied. So the academy really did used to have an issue with bullying. Who would guess, right? The school is all rainbows and butterflies these days. And the bullies from back then don't even go to the academy anymore. Why? What happened to them? As the former director of the academy, I believe I am best positioned to answer that question. Mr. Harrington. About 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them, and an altercation broke out between the groups. Though it did not escalate to a, into a major incident, the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of hitherto unknown proportions. As a result of what occurred that day, the students who had perpetrated the bullying dropped out of the academy one after another. But but there aren't any records of that anywhere in the academy. No, I should imagine not. My former deputy deleted all records of the incident, you see. What? Why would anyone do that? Just as I was puzzling over how best to deal with Team Star in the aftermath of the incident, a certain student came to see me. The student declared that they would take all responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested that I exonerate the other students of Team Star from any blame. Huh? No, no one told me that. I accepted the request and agreed not to take disciplinary action against Team Star. Then I assigned eight, then I assigned 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility for the team. A year and a half of studying abroad. This was not int intended as a punishment, you understand. Team Star were the victims after all. I wanted this student to take some time to rest, so I had them return home to the Galar region under the pretext of overseas study. Around that time, however, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the Academy's servers. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. So he tried to cover up the whole thing. That's terrible. After we discovered what he had done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course but the inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also represented a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame that lay at my feet and resigned from my position as director. The rest of the teaching staff then joined me in handing in their notices. So that's why the current teachers were all brought in a, a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused you a great deal of trouble. You have my sincere apologies. Hang on, Mr. Harrington. How come you suddenly decided to talk about this now? Young Master Ortega, Team Star cannot carry on in its current fashion. I merely wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. 
Well, there's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them. Not after we've come this far. Your friends and Team Star must mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? It's because, you know, they're my greatest treasure in the whole world. Bum bum bum! So, obviously, their boss is the one that was gone for a year and a half. And... Who showed up just recently? That girl we uh, prevented the bullying from at the beginning. Merrick, it's me. Did you do it? Did you claim Ortega's star badge? With its boss no longer around, the Rock Boss Squad is as good as finished. So, Ortega was the last. All five squad bosses have now been toppled from their pedestals. I imagine they'll leave Team Star before before long now that they've lost their special positions after that they should soon be back attending classes at the academy nice work out there Merrick is that Clive I hear Cassiopeia well done to you too thanks now about your reward Merrick I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised Ooh, I got a lot of LP now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. Oh, that reminds me, I'm doing the whole supply unit rep thing this time, right? Indeed. You can go ahead and give Merrick his bonus reward now. Lots of Pokemon materials. At long last, Operation Starfall has entered its final stage. There's only one thing left on the agenda. You must defeat the big boss and have Team Star disband for good. Where is the big boss? Don't worry, there's no need to search them out. The true identity of the big boss is none other than me. Yeah, well, that's not much of a shocker. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep it from you for so long, but the right moment never came. I'm the one who formed Team Star. Back then, the members of the team were my closest friends, and I treasured them more than anything. If they go on like this, Team Star won't do any good for anyone. They've got to give it up, so I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. Merrick, I'll be waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clive. Understood. Then I'll see you both there. So Cassiopeia was the big boss of Team Star this whole time. I scarcely thought it possible. But with this revelation, I just might have an inkling as to their true identity. It seems we'll find our answers after dark in the Academy's schoolyard. Let's prepare as best we can before heading over. Alrighty. Battle Cassiopeia. Hiya! Why is he out first? Oh, because everyone else got knocked out. Duh. Um, alright. So we need to heal up. Let's get healed up and head that way. Let's see if we can defeat Team Star all the way. And then I think I'd like to try battling Arvin again. And then we'll go become the champ. I think that's the order we'll do things. Which is kind of ironic because now we're going in the opposite order of what we finished them in to do their capstones, I guess. Alright, so we want to go... The Great Crater. We're going to go here. Oh yeah, she's waiting for me up there. Yes, fly to that spot. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so Cassiopeia, my guess, Cassiopeia is be is Penny. That's what I've been guessing the whole time. All right, so where? This looks nightfall-ish. Right? Okay, so where am I going, actually? 
set as the destination. There we go. Alright. Um, so we want to go up the steps. Alrighty. Gotta go up all the steps. What is it that uh, Poe from uh, Kung Fu Panda says? My mortal enemy. Alright, so it looks like it's dark. There's Clive. So let's see how this is gonna go. Sup, Merrick? Oh, come on, the name's Clive, remember? Actually, no, it's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, you're exactly who I thought the whole time, but look at my shocked face. I do apologize for dece deceiving you with my disguise. In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of the Naranja Academy, Mr. Clavel. But my disguise was perfect. Although now that I think about it, I did neglect to keep up with my youthful act on a few occasions. That must have been what gave me away. Regardless, there is still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star, was me all along. Uh, no. Honest to goodness. When you heard Cassiopeia over the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded voice. I pulled it off, uh... You know, one of those high-tech gizmos? Oh, yes, it was very clever. Yeah, I still do. So, Master Merrick, now you know I'm the big boss. That means there's just one thing left to do. Face me in one final showdown to decide it all. Okay. What? Whatever. Apparently it is. I am Cassiopeia of Team Star. With this battle, I will finally bring Operation Starfall to an end. Alrighty. Um, sure, let's go ahead. Oh. He's level 60. This is going to be a tough battle. Get him. Get him good. Gets it. Oh, so he's gonna put me to sleep in a couple turns. Okay. Oh, I guess Meteor Mash is better in general if they're both effective. Plus it has a chance to raise my attack stat. He already used the only. Well, I, I should fall asleep right here. All right, keep using Yawn. Go for it, Rangaroo. Just, just keep using Yawn. Oh, Dream Eater! Ow! That's a psychic move. He's gonna heal a lot off of that. Shoot, dang! Uh, that was a bit. I haven't even defeated his first Pokemon. Okay. So it's a psychic type, right? I'm gonna send Scizor out against it. We'll see how that does. At least I think Orangaroo is a psychic type. Did he get smaller? He looks smaller all of a sudden. Send it out next. And how many Pokemon does he have total? Uh, ooh, floppy with Sword and Thrash. Okay. Let's get rid of Dragon Dance. Sure. Alright. Hound Doom. Definitely don't we definitely want to switch. Uh, in fact, let's uh, send out Floppy. 
because uh, Scizor is four times weak to fire. Definitely don't want to leave Houndoom out there. Okay, so what level is Houndoom? Because his first level is level 60. And this Pokemon's level 60 as well. Okay. Thunderfang, shoot! Oh, whew. That's good, because the Thunderfang would have been four times effective against me, too. Um, uh, I think I better switch out. Switch to Lycanroc, so if he uses Thunderfang again, Lycanroc won't take any damage. These rock types are immune to... Shouldn't I have been immune? Is it rock? Maybe it's just ground that's immune to Thunder Fang? I don't know. Rock Tomb. Dark Pulse. Ouch! Okay. This is a tough battle, but so far we're okay. It just depends. I keep forgetting to look how many Pokemon he's got left. Bomb of Snow. Let's. Oh, I was gonna actually switch. I didn't mean to hit. Me. Uh, a bomb of snow. Snowboarding. Okay. So after this, he still has three more Pokemon. So bomb of snow is definitely ice type, but isn't he ice grass type? Because I meant to send out Frankie. All right. Come on out, Frankie. Let's see if we can't beat him. Let's do Torch Song. Because there's a chance I'll be buffed after it. There we go. Special Attack Rose. That's good to see. Good to see. Who's coming out next? Poltergeist. So that's definitely a ghost type. I can't remember fought it yet. Oh, apparently I have. Okay. So let's do Shadow Ball. Shell Smash. Okay, what is that one? Defense fell. Special defense fell. But attack went... Attack and special attack went super high. And speed. So he's definitely going to outspeed me if he lives. Good, good, good. All right. That's good. I didn't want to lose another one. So what we got? Two more left, right? Among Us. All right. We should be good to leave out Frankie for Among Us. And one more after this one. Let's use Torch Song. Ooh. I like Torch Song's animation. The, uh microphone coming up and then yelling out fire basically I like it Quack uh, Quabble what is Quack Quabble is that the water type the final form of the water type uh, starter I'm gonna, we're going to switch I'm gonna, I think it's a water type let's try scissor I I, I know I could send out like an Isle Ape or something, but I kind of want to save an Isle Ape in the background if I don't need him. Huh, to think that I, Cassiopeia, would be backed into a corner like this. Yeah, that is the, the starter. Um, so he's definitely water. Is he water flying? Hit him with wing attack. Very well, it seems I shall have to terrestrialize my Pokemon. Well, I guess this will now tell us what type it is after he terrestrializes. Is that the water fountain? Yeah, so it's definitely a water type terrestrialization. Do take a step back, please. This may get dangerous. 
survival used aqua stuff. Okay. Ouch. And a speed rose. Okay, that's not good. The snow stopped. Uh, I kind of want to revive. But who? I guess we'll revive Mario. Alright, because Aqua stuff's going to take me down. And it's going to kill Frankie in one hit. I guess. And he's super fast. Shoot. Okay. Let's... I guess let's try Floppy. Aqua Step should do half damage, plus I decreased his attack. Let's try using Hurricane. Okay, so I hope I survive this. I think I will. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so I can actually take a couple of those. And Hurricane hit, which is good. So, man, shoot! That's so low. Like, the damage is so low on that. Okay. okay. I should be able to take one more, one more hit. Oh, no! Alright, come on. As long as he doesn't crit, he should be good. Come on. Come on, hit it. No, no, no. I know that it's only 70%, but I swear it misses, it's been missing way more than that. Um, let's, let's try healing up Floppy. So I'm worried that whoever else I send out is just going to get destroyed. Ice Spinner. Okay. I, I was worried that would do more damage than it did. Aqua Stab. Okay, that did about 45 damage. So I think I can hit it with two more hits. Before I have to heal again as long as he has a crit. Ice Spinner. So I did 49 damage. I spinned it. Mag. Hyper potion. Okay. I assume Terra Civilization never wears off. Okay, so I healed 120. So I should be able to attack once. And then have to heal it, probably. Damn! I... We're doing good. We're doing real good. Uh, I think we can finish him off with Floppy. So, and we don't have to use Annihilate. Because, I mean, I know I got him from... From Lincoln Prime and everything. It just it feels a little... Cheaty, since he's so much higher than the rest of my group, to use him too much. So I try to avoid using him, even though I have him in my party, because I think he looks super good. Ouch! Come on. Okay, hurricane hit. There we go. All right, and we beat him. Very nice. Defeated Director Cloudy. Who's that rando? <laughs> that is showed for a second. How strong you've grown. Now it says we've arrived at our destination? <laughs> okay. Well now, Master Merrick. It seems you've grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologize. I am not actually Cassiopeia called it though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie mind you Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden but I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they may be that is why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle 
their sorrows should not be yours to bear. However, Cassiopeia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win. So I challenged you to a battle to test your skill. If you had lost, I, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cassiopeia. Such was my resolve. But it turns out, you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance of saving that poor child, it is surely you. As an educator, it shames me to burden one of my students with such a task. But please, defeat Cassiopeia. Take on the big boss of Team Star and win. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I leave this in your hands. Time. You there. What do you think you're doing? Ah, Miss Time. A pleasure to see you. It's no pleasure at all, Mr. Cavill. I come here to investigate reports of an illicit battle on school grounds. And what do I find? Why, the director of the academy himself facing off against one of our students, no less. What were you thinking? Uh, no, if you... If I could just explain, you see, it is a rather sad tale. Oh, spare me. Your excuses reek worse than a stunky's behind. A stunky's behind? Ahem. Remember... The big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. I am counting on you, Master Merrick. You'll write a letter of apology to the students and faculty at once. And I'll be reporting this to the chairwoman of the school board. Make no mistake. Good gracious, no. Anything but that, I implore you. All right, so how damaged are my Pokemon? Do I need to stop by the... Okay, so they were literally all healed. All right, so uh, the schoolyard. So not here, right? Like literally the schoolyard. After it, it's after dark. Is she around like the, the side or something? the schoolyard? I crashed. Maybe I need to go inside. I assume this was it. But I see my assumptions. I'm not right. Alright, so I guess let's go inside. Oh, hey JJ Killer, how's it going? Uh, sure. I wouldn't mind a level one shiny if you're still here. Sorry, I didn't notice uh, your chat earlier. All right, so. All right, so then the Pokey Portal. I can't use the Pokey Portal now. What? What do you mean I can't use the Poke Portal right now? Alright, let's connect to the internet. I am now connected to the internet. Oh, I have to leave this place. I can't use the Poke Portal here. Got it. Makes sense. I've never used. Well, I've never tried to use the Poke Portal here, so. Alright. So, out here. Poke Portal. Link to trade. Set code. One, two, three, six, nine, eight, seven, four. Begin searching. Oh, you already have a code. Sorry. Uh, let me. Yes. Set the code. Five, three, three, three. Begin searching. A trade partner has been found. All 
Alright. I don't have a ton of stuff, but I can throw something your way if you see something in here you like. You want a Tinker Tough? Alright, give you anything. Alright. Well, let's see. Do I have... I've got duplicates of Staravia. If that's alright. Oh, what is this guy? I don't know if I've seen this Pokemon before. into Serena. Not even sure who Serena is. Serena. Oh, that's a cool looking Pokemon. Registered. Bound Sweet. Awesome, thank you. Oh, and I see up in the up near where it says English, there's the little shiny symbol on it. That's cool. Thank you. All right, now let's head in and fight Cassiopeia. It's still nighttime. All right. Thank you so much, JJ Killer. Oh. Okay. So you wanted to you want to trade me one more thing? I'm sorry, I uh, got out of it before before I saw that. All right, so the code is five three three. Let me get back in. Poke portal. Link trade. Begin searching. Yes. An H Zorua. Communication error. Searching for the trade partner. There we go. Looking Zora. So H Zora, was that Hisuin? Reminds me of um, oh, I don't know if you've ever seen Bo Furry, but one of the characters has a fire animal like that. Uh, your trading partner chose to quit trading. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna go fight Cassiopeia. That's pretty awesome. Thank you. So, I assume I need to find my way through here to the grounds? Are they, like, back here or something? What is this? Where do I want to go? The schoolyard. That's where I want to go. There we go. Okay. Haha, <laughs> I knew it was Penny. Called it Merrick. Thanks for coming. Dun dun dun. <laughs> she just smirks at me. Huh, this must be quite a shock for you. The 
Big Boss Cassiopeia. They were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside school that time, the idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit, and I had you battle the bosses on my behalf, all for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? Thanks. So, she's got Eevees on her back. Does she use evolutions? Guess we'll have to find out. Sorry to keep you. The letter of apology. Miss Time had me, uh... I mean, preparations took longer than expected. That voice. Are you Clive? Penny, so what was you after... Ah, no, I mean... Is that you, Cassiopeia? In the flesh. I have a task for you, Clive, if you'll accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Okay, will do. Well, if he was his Pokemon were in the 60s, what are her Pokemon going to be at? Then allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No, Penny. Cassio Penny. Now bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. Alrighty. You're challenged by Penny of Team Star. Umbreon. Okay. I bet... I, my guess is that all of her Pokemon are going to be evolutions. I won't hold back in this battle. I'll stay true to Team Star's code. Alright, let's Terrestrialize and Aura Sphere. Let's see. Yeah, because even if, now that I'm pure fighting type, I guess she'll send out Espeon next. Baby Doll Eyes, is that the one that lowers my attack? Yeah. Come around's pretty quick. Super effective, but not effective enough, I guess. Oh! So, is our speed roughly the same then? Since, uh. Oh, that's right! I keep forgetting that Lucario's um, ability makes him faster as he gets hurt. So, you send out Flareon. Alright, so we'll leave him out, even though Floppy would have a good battle here. Um. Or a sphere should be good. Now I wonder, do I lose my my steel typing? I'm guessing not. Oh, that didn't say super effective. Oh, that Flareon just messed me up. There, right. floppy it is. Are you Larion? lowering my attack? I really like these baby doll eyes. Don't you? Bam! Alright. So two down. And I assume she has a full slot of six. Jolteon, definitely uh, switching out. Uh, let's go with Lycanroc. Yeah, because uh, electric types will be four times. Not only have, have stab, but four times uh, weakness. Through. Floppy for Gyarados. All right. Um, it's definitely gonna be faster than me. Baby doll eyes. Okay. Um, yeah, because Jolteon's got a lot of speed. Ooh, do near the damage guy I was expecting. But at least its speed is falling. Thunder. Avoided the attack. Yeah, Thunder's not super uh, accurate. Thunder. 
avoided the attack again. Okay. I, I want to say Thunder is 70, maybe 80% accuracy. Yeah, Rock, Rock Tomb, I think, is at 90. 95, okay. <laughs> Alright. Now, do I have... I thought I could just finish it off with the Zen Head, but... Let's just do that. Almost. Oh, and it flinched. I should have been using that, like, the whole time. Alright. We'll probably send out Vaporeon next, would be my guess. Or, she, rather. Um, Alright. Yeah, definitely switch. Um, I don't really have anything that's super effective against the Vaporeon. Let's send in Scissor. Let's just go with Floppy. Floppy's been doing good for me this session. Vaporeon's just looking up at me like, ah! Earth. Oh, not near enough damage. Is this a... It's... Yeah, like 70 power. That's a lot of power. I guess I can just use Thrash, though. 120. Okay, let me use Thrash. I'll be confused how much damage is without a word. Hydro Pump, alright. And I avoided the attack, nice. This Hydro Pump's only 80%. Accuracy on that. And then we're gonna want to uh, switch out because he's confused. Leafion. Um, well, let's switch out to Frankie. Frankie should be able to make quick work of Leafion. I was wondering which. Um, which ones she would have, because there's more than six uh, evolutions. So she had the original three. She had Umbreon and Leafeon. So is she going to have... So that leaves Glaceon and Espeon as possibilities, as well as Sylveon. My guess is it's going to be Sylveon. I guess she could have... Okay, it is Sylveon. I was going to say, I guess she could have Eevee, but... Um, let's switch to Scissor. Why not? Why not? Alright, Penny. You're a lot easier to beat than Clive was. I can't fault you on your battle skills at all. No wonder the bosses fell at your hands. Is she gonna terrestrialize Sylveon? That'd be my guess. Ooh, punch. Time to terrestrialize. Shine bright like the starry sky. Become who you really want to be. I assume that's the fairy symbol? Seems very ish. Bullet punch. Alright, super effective. Good. Baby doll eyes. Attack fell. Alright, bullet punch. So two more hits. Should do it. Uh oh. Fell in love. My VV power will crush you into stardust. Okay. Blast. All right. That's a pretty strong fairy move. Good thing I put out my steel type. Special attack fell. I am charmed. Am I gonna just sit there? He's in love. Mobilized by love. I've been watching a 
the, or I just finished watching the Rocky movies, and uh, his trainer tells him that uh, women give men weak, weak legs. So, here we go. Here it is, in action. <laughs> All right. Well, good try, Scissor. Let's uh. Try like a rock again. Give him a. Him a world. Um, how much damage? That's a 75. That's an 80. And that could lower the defense stats. Which is really I did pretty good damage. One more hit should take care of it. Assuming Moonblast doesn't kill me. I think Sylveon doesn't seem to be super fast. Um, no, let's try Floppy. Let's do with Hydro Or Thrash. Let's go with Thrash. Bam! There we go. Defeated. Boom. I defeated Penny of Team Star. <laughs> it's all over now. Ooh, 15,000. Not bad on the money front. It's finally over, guys. It's done. Dun, dun, dun. We're going to get a... One and a half years ago. Where's this them getting sent it right now? We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up. Are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning them some manners. But we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed. Merely did we declare our intentions to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in their tyrannous oppression. Twas a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. But the bullies made a huge stink about what went down. And then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired epically. There's no way we're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right. This little stunt might have put us up the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this. So I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble and kind big boss, you cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh, yeah? And what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Stop right there, BB. Why, why are you talking like we'll never speak again? I need to go take care of some things. Prithee, speak to us. What is thine intent? Hey, Big Boss, answer us! Hmm? What a creeper. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks for everything. So I assume that was a flashback. I don't... Did I miss where it said one and a half years ago? Anyway. Thanks for everything, Merrick. And you too, Clive. I'm glad I could see this through to the end. I guess this is it for Team Star and me too. Hold that thought, Miss uh, Penny. I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any way, uh, any other way you could handle this? I tried telling the bosses that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? 
Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all to do stuff, but I could never order them. So it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force the Team Star to disband. Because the bosses would do anything the code required of them, even leave the team? Yes, and according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. Thus the idea for Operation Starfall. Cassiopeia, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star No. What do your friends in the team mean to you? They're my treasure. They're my greatest treasure. Splendid. Thank you for apprising me of the situation, Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady, there's something I should be, I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit it with the old geezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed. Well then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. Aha! <laughs> Director Clavel! Just as Cassiopeia was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. But, but why? I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. The students do tend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers, after all. Much more so when faced with the Director of the Academy. Yeah, but... Where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings about that wig. Ahem. <laughs> well, that's quite enough of that for now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Hey, look, it's Team Star. <laughs> huh? Yo, big boss. Long time no see. Momo? More like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only found out your real name just now. Nelly. Verily is thy long hidden countenance a sight for sore eyes, my lady. Atticus. So, um, I heard your real name's Penny. How have you been this whole time? Ordy. We found you at last. You've no idea how worried we've been. Okay, gang, on the count of three. One, two, hasta la vista, Cassiopeia, and hello, Penny. <laughs> okay. Now then, Miss Penny, and each of you young bosses as well, on behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. Come again? As director of the academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. What? I still don't... I mean... Why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first days as director, all I've ever experienced of the academy is an environment blessedly free from bullying. But now I know this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and of course your immense courage in putting things to right. And so, I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Stars to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist should that be your wish. Woohoo! Penny, isn't this great? Now we can all stay together. Oh, mine heart is giddy with glee. But I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Clavel told us all about it. Far as we heard, you only went through it with, through with it to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? Not like we'd ever chuck the team just because someone told us to, after all. Ain't our style. I cannot even begin to imagine how you must have feared for us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay now. But even so... Hold on, everyone. 
I have more to say. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. Your protracted truancy, your brazen customization of school uniforms, your unauthorized usage of academy equipment, your reckless modification and jeopardous driving of Pokemon-powered vehicles, need I go on. Your flagrant disregard for school rules cannot simply be overlooked. Okay, so what are you going to do? Thus, as punishment, you will all be required to engage in community service. Community service? Yes, specifically, I will ask you to manage the STCs. And that stands for the Star Training Centers. They shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. I plan for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Master Merrick battling his way through your bases. The base's construction, as well as the battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star, are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth as STC staff members, using your former bases as training facilities. And that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Uh, no? Sounds like fun, so I don't see how this be anything but a win-win. This may be a weird thing to say, since the STCs are supposed to be a punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. Tis true. We would most happily have you at our sides, my lady. We can go to, to school together, too. That way, if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. We were already talking about how great it'd be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. This'd be a sweet deal for us. So what do you say? You guys. Merrick, what do you think? Uh, but, um, I just... No need to give your response right this moment, Miss Penny. Do take some time to decide. For now, at least, I think our little group should, should go their separate ways. Ah, not to say you should break up Team Star, after all. It simply meant it is time to leave. Master Merrick, please stop by my office later if you would. All right, and that is where we are going to call it for this episode. For those that are here live, I am going to be recording an another episode here in just a moment. Um, but thank you for watching the VOD here on YouTube. If you want to see me stream uh, this live, I do that on Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on twitch.tv slash Pokemon Go podcast. You can find the link down in the description. Um, yeah, we defeated Team Star. That's awesome. And uh, as always, you guys stay awesome in the meantime.